Not only is climate change bad for the planet, but it's also putting our health at risk. It increases the threat of diseases and stresses our immune systems. But what role could the biomedicine manufacturing process play in the fight against climate change to ultimately prevent these diseases? Each year, the pharmaceutical industry generates about 50 million tonnes of CO2, the same amount created by 11 million cars. Most of these emissions come from the product supply chain, including the raw materials that are sourced from nature and the emissions from transport. Recognising the impact they can have, the pharmaceutical industry is joining the push to reduce emissions and reach net zero. The key to doing this is tackling emissions across the whole supply chain. Critical to the transition to net zero are contract development and manufacturing organisations, also known as CDMOs. Samsung Biologics is a leading CDMO and handles the development and production process of biomedicines from start to finish with pharmaceutical suppliers. 20% of the CDMO's emissions come from sites where the biomedicines are made, while 80% comes from ingredient suppliers who provide the raw materials or deliver the medicines. Samsung Biologics is aiming to achieve net zero at their site and across their supply chain by 2050 or earlier. Currently, there is an increasing movement to implement a renewable energy infrastructure in South Korea. By optimising energy use, investing in renewable operations and converting to zero emission vehicles, Samsung Biologics is working towards 100% renewable energy in line with their net zero target. To meet their targets, Samsung Biologics is also working with suppliers to decarbonise how their products are sourced while reducing the use of disposables in the manufacturing process through waste management and recycling. These efforts, along with many others across the health sector, are a shared responsibility. If we reduce emissions and preserve the world's resources, the positive effect on the health of the environment has the power to shape future generations.